So thank you so much to Dr. Rikuchi for this wonderful video that he allowed me to post. And it talks about his idea of working length based on his research in histological slides. So there was a viewer that actually asked me, where exactly is this on my Apex locator? Well, let's take a look. Hey, Astral Things Dentistry, and this is just a question that I had from a viewer, and the viewer was talking about, they use the Apex ID. Let me get you in zoom here, in focus. So the Apex ID from Cybron, uh, it's another Apex locator, I've used it. And uh, in our video from Dr. Rikuchi, he was using the Merida Z Root ZX2. So he wanted his, he, his question was, where does what Dr. Rikuchi talks about line up with my, my Cybron? So what I did was, uh, this is how we train our uh, dentists. We take a, this is how we teach them how to use an apex locator. Um, so what we do is we take a cup, place some alginate, and then essentially um, place a tooth or lightly said, smash a tooth into the alginate, place our lip clips into the alginate and it acts like our PDL. So I've set everything up. So hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Let's do this here. Well, so I've got this apex locator hooked up here. So we've got it set for that. All right, so just like in the video with Dr. Rikuchi, now whether you agree with it or not, it's up to you, but we have set it up so that's where it's reading on that Apex Locator. So if we change Apex Locators and we go to the Cybron, boom. My friend, that's where you'll be reading according to Dr. Rikuchi, so at the sixth level. And if you really wanna get crazy and put two Apex Locators on at the same time, let's see what happens they go into like defibrillation. Oh, it's a little crazy here. The Merida is not happy and I think the Cybron one is winning. It's kind of like they're beeping at the same rate. All right, hopefully that helps and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.